Greetings YouTube and welcome to episode number 12 of Did You Know? Did you know that the very first slave ship was called Jesus? Yeah, that's right. The very first slave ship was called Jesus, y'all. And when I heard that, I was like, are you kidding me? Because I never heard that information before. But you know, there's still some people out there who don't know this information. So that's why it's going to be today's topic. So let's get straight into it. Okay, this is how it went down. One of the first British men who traded slaves was named Sir John Hawkins. He was a slave trader and a shipbuilder. Queen Elizabeth partnered with him by renting him a 700 ton ship called Jesus of Lebec, also known as the Good Ship Jesus. Okay? He was the first to run the triangular trade, which is a term for making three stops and making a profit at all three. Now, Sir John Hawkins traded slaves in the Caribbean. Now, who was the first person to, tr to have slaves in the United States? That was King James, of course. Oh, yeah, King James. The same King James who translated and diligently revised the Bible? Yes, King James was the first person to have slaves in America. Are you all familiar with Jamestown, Virginia? Well, Jamestown, Virginia was named after King James, and that's where the first slaves arrived, in Jamestown, Virginia. King James was known by a couple of different names. He was known as King James I of England and Ireland, and he was also known as King James VI of Scots. And yes, he had slaves. Now, Queen Elizabeth funded the slave trade. She funded the slave trade when Sir John Hawkins traded his slaves, and she also funded the slave trade when King James owned his slaves. Okay, just a couple of quick things about King James. 